Hello, and in this video, we're going to start creating our carabiner pin. Uh, we're going to start down on the end or the nose or the tip of that pin. Uh, we're going to create that first section that you can unscrew off. Uh, in this video, we're just going to make the plastic or the housing portion. Uh, in the next video, we'll add in that rubber grippy portion. Uh, so to do this, uh, we're going to do it in a segment. So we're going to start with that first segment that comes before uh, the grip. So I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to click on my front plane. And we're going to sketch an outline of what you see if you're looking at it uh, kind of from a front view for that portion. Uh, and then we'll revolve it to give us the wall shape. So I'm going to start with a line. And I'm going to go from my origin and go straight up. And I'll go a distance of 0.625. Uh, 0.0625 I mean, so 0 0.0625 inches. Uh, that's because when I use my dial calibers measured all the way across, uh, we got twice that value, so I want to cut that value in half since I'm only sketching half that I'm going to revolve around. I'll zoom in so we can see a little bit clear what we're doing. And then right now I'm going to hit escape and grab my line tool. So now with our line tool, we're going to click on the origin. We're going to go out horizontally, uh, and we measure this to be 0.442. 552 to be the distance from my uh, tip to where the grip begins. Uh, so that's how we got that distance. Uh, then we're going to go up and we want to make sure it's vertical. And this time our distance we want half of the diameter when we get to the grip. So in this case that half that diameter is going to be 0.263. Uh, so half of 0.555 essentially. Uh, so then we hit enter and I'll zoom out a little bit. And we want to add in an arc because if we look, it's an arcing shape to get back to our uh, origin plane. Uh, so I'm going to hit an arc, a three-point arc. And I'm going to click on one end. I'm going to click on the other end point. And then we're going to click to set it. And our value should be somewhere in the ballpark of three and a half for the radius. Again, it's not a, new, a set value, exact value, but it should be somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, if you want to play around with that value and uh, you want to try to make it look like our figure, I don't have the exact value for you, but it should be in this ballpark. Uh, then we're going to revolve, so hit the revolve tool, click inside the shape we just did, hit revolve axis, and then click on that axis. Uh, that gives us that first layer of our pen. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a plane. So I'm going to add in a plane by coming up here on the top, selecting plane. And then I want to select from the back end of my object. And I want it to move back a distance of 0.81. So that's the distance. Uh, there's a little cut in where that uh, grip goes. The distance of that cut in ends up being 0.81. So I set that as my plane. And then I hit accept. Uh, next, we're going to sketch on that plane. So I'm going to sketch. I'm going to click on that plane. So I'm going to come over here and click plane one. And this time, I want to sketch a circle. I'm going to change to the left view so I can see it directly on. And I want to start right in the middle. Uh, then I take it out, and I want it to be a uh, diameter of 0. 0.550. And again, took our dial caliber, measured, and we got a diameter of 0. 0.550. So that's how we got that value. Uh, then we hit our green check to accept, and we we'll rotate our view so you can see what's going on in here. So next, we have to add in a circle on our base as well. Uh, so we got this 0.475, uh, and if you look at your pen, it drops down for that circle. Uh, so we're gonna have to add in that circle by doing sketch on that plane. And this one's going to be 0.475. So again, you want to start it in the middle. Uh, if you change to your left view, it makes sure you get in the middle. And we set that to 0.475 and hit enter. Uh, so now we have these two circles of different size. And we can do what's called a loft between them. So I'm going to hit my loft tool up here on the top. I hit my smaller circle and then my larger circle. And that connects between them. I hit our green check, make sure it's an add. And then hit our green check to accept. Uh, so that gives us that little cut in where our grip's going to occur. Uh, next, I'm going to sketch another circle. So I'm going to sketch on the, the edge of my object or plane one. Either one's going to give us the same location. And then I need a circle. This time, again, I'm going to the, uh, the center. Make sure it's in that center box. And we want a value of 0 0.60. And again, we got this value using our dial calibers measuring that circle. Uh, then I'm going to extrude that back a very short distance, so I hit my green check to accept, extrude, 
I click on that circle I just drew, which is the bigger one. Uh, so I want that bigger circle. You can hit Sketch 4 to get it. And we want to extrude. It's a pretty short distance of 0 0.075. Hit Enter and then accept that. Uh, once we've done that, then we're going to need another smaller circle. So we're going to sketch, click that circle, and we need a smaller circle starting again at the center origin. Make sure you're in that, uh, rect that rectangle or square there. This one's going to be a diameter of 0.56, and again, this comes from measuring it with the dial count. It's black, so we know we got it located in the right location. Hit our green check to accept. And this time we're going to extrude it a distance of 0.325. So hit extrude, click inside it, and change your distance to 0.325. And that gives us this back portion uh, where we're going to put our screw, screw threads. So hit our green check to accept. Now we want to sell it first, and then we'll add our threads. So to sell, I'm just going to select the sell tool up here on the top. Come up here and select our sell tool. Uh, with this, it's open on both ends, so I want to hit my back end, and then I want to hit my front end. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Click our front end, and then we have to set our cell distance. So our cell uh, distance, how thick that the cell is, uh, should be about 0.3 inches. Again, use a dial caliber to help you measure it and get that value, and then hit our green check to accept. Uh, so that gives us that value. Uh, now we just have to add in the threads on the back of this object. So I'm going to use that custom feature we've used previously, uh, the thread creator. So I'm going to select that tool and tell it where I want the threads to go. Uh, then I have to tell it the pitch. Uh, so if you measure it, we measured it and we got uh, the number of threads per inch. And we got 120 threads per inch. So on here, it's asking for pitch. So we have to do 1 over 20, which would end up being 0 0.05 for our pitch. Uh, so we want 5, 0 0.05 to be our pitch. Uh, and if you look, you can see it makes those threads for us. So hopefully this helps you to create this object. Lastly, all we have to do is let, give it a name. So rename it. I'm going to name it my pen. Uh, nose so we know what section it's the nose part and then we want to change our color so right click edit appearance and it's going to be a white color so you want to find your white coloration on here and make your pen white i hit your green check to accept and hopefully this helps you make part one the carabinian pen nose next video we're going to add in the grip uh, thank you and good luck